bright and early, everyone. Good morning. Hope all of you are doing absolutely fantastic today. It's a little bit cold out. We got that sun peeking over Mount Baker, so I hope all of you out here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest or wherever you might be are enjoying your day. Today, we are going to be talking about my weekly farm guide. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while because I haven't felt like we've really needed it, but some things have changed, so let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> We're going to specifically talk about some Final Fantasy X reminders in this guide. We're also going to be talking about some other things that you should be keeping in mind. As I said, I haven't done a farm guide in a couple weeks now because I felt it hasn't really been necessary. But with the onset of tokens and with the onset or upcoming of Final Fantasy X and memory spheres, I think it's important that everybody keeps in mind and plans accordingly because if you aren't planning this week, next week, you're gonna be a little bit overrun when Final Fantasy X comes out. Now, the charts that I did make uh, don't have room for my webcam on them, so y'all are gonna miss my beautiful face today. But let's go ahead and dive in here and talk about it. Uh, specifically, first off, we do have the XVS Universe medals. Most people probably know or have heard by now that you should be banking about 130,000 for Mind Sphere conversion. So, what is a Mind Sphere? A Mind Sphere is when you get a shard over 600 for your units and they convert to a Mind Sphere uh, when EX units come out. So, what people have noted is the Exodus Universe event is going to go on beyond the start time for Final Fantasy X slash EX units. And we do have a confirmed start date. For Final Fantasy X and EX units, or at least EX units, because we do have a Mind Sphere times 80 ticket that is available on the 23rd, I believe it is. So we do know that you are going to be able to buy all of the Brave XVS units and convert all those shards to Mind Sphere. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're farming this event. One of the other questions we're going to ask also is: Is the piece of equipment worth it? And that's on another slide, but I definitely think it's important to note here. A lot of people I've talked to have been talking about farming up Alexandrite rings for this raid. Some important notes here, particularly around Joyful Hearts. If you're wanting to max out Joyful Hearts and you're starting from zero, you are going to need 799,000 raids or 799,000 raid coins, which is 799 raids. With five days left, that's about 200 raids per day. It's doable, but it's a little bit difficult. I would say maybe shoot for half that, try and get maybe a plus four Alexandrite ring. Defense Bracer is another conversation entirely on whether or not I think you should plus five it. I would say most people are probably going to plus five it, but I, I'm i pretty debatable on whether or not it's going to be worth it. Uh, agitators. So the Agitator is going to be going away at the end of this week, but we are going to be able to have metal conversions for the rest of next week. Make sure that you have like at least one to three K currency extra so that you are able to buy the gill snappers and the VC uh, potions to upgrade your VCs. Uh, Friday, uh, that is today, for those of you that aren't keeping track, uh, Light Alchris are on double drop. Make sure you're loading up on this for Yuna. It's going to be very important. Similarly, Wednesday, make sure you load up on job materials for Titus as well. Keep in mind that we do have a really big maintenance, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after in preparation for uh, the uh, EX units and potentially Final Fantasy X. So keep that in mind that this is going to be the first like real Wednesday before we kind of get ready and dive into anniversary. So it would be a good week to farm for it because who knows what we're going to be farming next week. Another thing that a lot of people have not been talking about that I think is really important to know, and if you're already behind on it, you could be in trouble, is your tokens for the month, your monthly tokens of March or your farming for your April tokens right now. You do need to clear in order to get all of your tokens, 1500 monthly clears of Gill Snappers Chamber. Now, if you have already mapped this out and are keeping track of this, this is 187.5 runs on Saturday and Sunday, totaling about 3,740 NRG both days. A lot of people already do this because they farm gill snappers. Personally, I would consider either skipping or maybe running beginner if you're really desperate for these like last few coins. I'm not sure yet if the last coins are going to make a difference, like whether you can max out two categories or whether you can only still max out one, even if you get the full gill snapper tokens. So something to think about, something to look into. Another thing to consider is that we do also have 
EX units coming out, which are going to take guild level. We're also going to be having at least two or three more VCs. We're going to have Bahamut. We're going to have both Final Fantasy X VCs. We're also going to be getting potentially the art book VC as well. So there's going to be a lot of guild going out here in the near future. Let's talk about the Emblem of Devouring, because a lot of people are looking at this and wondering, is this a piece of gear I should max? This is a really good question. I honestly am on the fence about it because Blissful Hearts are such an important item for so many other recipes and so many other useful items that I'm kind of like, maybe I just want to hoard the Blissful Hearts and not use an Emblem of Devouring. Maybe I don't want to plus five it, right? Because when you plus five it, the only thing you get at plus five is accuracy plus 10. If you're using this piece of gear for the shield version, which is for the 15 defense, you don't really need the accuracy and you're probably utilizing it for both blind and paralyzed resistance. At the end of the day, I honestly see this item as just kind of, you know, a pretty high defense accessory item. It's, you know, compared to a lot of gear that's coming in the future, it's not game changing. A lot of players are going to have different types of gear that are going to be better than this in different slots. The accuracy version is not going to be like super crazy different than other accessory gear we have. For new players, it might be really good, particularly to get the shield version. Otherwise, I'm going to say maybe hold on, maybe build a couple plus zeros, uh, max awakened or do something like that, like get a bunch of zeros at five stars so you can put them on like all your characters if you ever have like a paralyzed or blind opponent. The other thing you could think about as well is if you're into the live PvP scene or arena scene, if you want to plan against going up against units who are going to paralyze you, you might want to put this on. So keep this in mind. I would say at least farm the 63 recipes because you never know, especially on the horizon with so much XVS Universe content, whether or not a new global exclusive unit is going to come out in like the next couple weeks or global original unit, sorry, where maybe that unit's gonna like both blind and paralyze you. And then you'll be like, like shit, like shooting yourself in the foot because you didn't farm the recipes for this. So you should be farming for the tokens anyway, for the mind spheres, for the brave XVS units. And you'll probably get 63. The recipe drop rate is pretty low, but definitely keep this in mind. Some other things to look at here. Uh, mainly it's gonna be the NRG pots from the raids. But also, I really want to emphasize Awakening Prisms and Fragments, because with the upcoming Yuna, with the upcoming Titus, with the upcoming Auron, I don't think people realize how many Fragments and Awakening Prisms it's going to take to level a unit fully to level 120. You're going to need 460 Light Fragments. You're also going to need 490 Awakening Prisms. So if you're looking at your stockpile of Fragments and Prisms right now, and you're like, Okay, I'm fine, right? <laughs> you, you're gonna be you're gonna be burning through those things so fast. If you consider that on average they were, were releasing like three EXs every week or every other week, that's at least 360 fragments and prisms that you're gonna be burning through in the coming months, right? So if you're able to get any now, I would highly recommend getting them. One of the other things that changed is they did change the cost of the prisms and the fragments in the friend token exchange shop and the guild token exchange shop. So if you do have extra of those, which I mean, I know they're a hot commodity, uh, you can actually purchase them for 20 friend tokens and 20 guild tokens. I actually think it's a really good deal, uh, but I also know that potentially we're gonna be getting other things coming out with friend tokens and guild tokens as well when they do launch the EX units. So there is also that to keep in mind. All right, everybody, we kind of plowed our way through it. I hope you guys are all looking forward to finishing up the raid this week. I know that I have been running it nonstop and have been enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, I've been trying to learn how to macro my raids and make it just a little bit easier on me so that I can play games like Loop Hero in between. And uh, that's pretty much all I've been playing. <laughs> I'm looking super forward to the Satisfactory update on the 16th next week, but I'm, I'm kind of getting distracted right now. So we're going to go ahead and call this video right here. I hope this farm guide was able to help some of you. If you guys do want like a PDF downloadable version of those slides, let me know in the comment section down below and I will upload them in the description. Uh, we will probably be streaming tonight. Hope to see some of you guys there. As always, if you do want to support me, you can use my affiliate link dig.gs slash coins, or you can come to dig.gs slash offer as well. 
and have a great rest of your day, everybody.